Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of my GoPro and Paralens journey. Actually at the moment is my Paralens journey because that's what we're f focusing on. Paralens are obviously now pushing the camera very hard and I keep getting emails um, from a chap called Marco at Paralens trying to sell me a Fakita which is strange because I've already got one and you should know that you know I'm on YouTube two or three times a week so he's just come out with um, an email saying five reasons to buy the Vaquita. So we'll just run through that because it's a, it's a bit funny. You know, I could, I could think of five better reasons to buy the Vaquita. And that's what's coming up just after this. Um, in this video today, I've got it into, into chapters. So you can just, if you want to go straight to my five reasons, you can do that. Um, or you can listen to the full video where I review uh, Marco's five reasons why you should buy a Fakita as well. Um, so let's get into it. Let's start off with Marco's five reasons why we should buy the Paralens Fakita. Reason number one, easy does it. Shoot underwater videos like a pro. What a load of baloney you know you can't just take a camera and shoot video like a professional videographer that's just that's just out outright foolish to say that I myself I'm not I'm an amateur I'm not proclaiming to be any good at all of underwater videography but if say myself and Matthias Lebo um, his um, details are in below he's a great underwater videographer has a cinematography school were to take out the Fakita on the same dive, I tell you what, Matthias's footage would be far superior to mine. So, you're not going to shoot video like a pro, right? You're not. The, the comment is made that um, pro equipment is bulky and costs a fortune, and if you're not a seasoned diver, you might feel fine. The Paralens is relatively easy to use, it is good, for, but don't buy this if you think you're going to just go out there and shoot award-winning footage. It's just not going to happen. And then under that, there's a few other reasons. For, I mean, I'm not going to go through all those. The links below, you can see that because we're just concentrating on the top five headlines. So number two, stunning underwater footage with minimal effort. Godswallop, I just said that. You've really got to work hard on composition. You've got to get everything right to do stunning underwater footage. Um, one of our dive team, Steve the Badger, He's got the gift. He can take his GoPro Hero 4 and outperform me every single time with my GoPro Hero 8 because he's just good at framing the shots, you know. So no, that isn't a reason. Number three, this is a good one. Your whole dive experience in one app. Well, the app's rubbish. Let's just get that out of the way now. They need to do a lot of work on it. They've got to get it to GoPro level for it to be any good. I'm going to discuss this later because tomorrow i'm making the video five reasons not to buy the paralens vaquita so be sure to subscribe so you don't miss that one it's going to be a good one number four add some real impact to your diving what the hell does that mean oh it means a regular action camera places you in the spotlight of your recording and therefore closer to the act simple as that doesn't a gopro do that then oh and then we go we believe there is more to an action camera than this. The Paralens Vaquita combined with the Paralens app gives you the tools you need to exercise environmental action. Wow. They could have said that a lot simpler. I mean, one thing I do like about the Paralens Vaquita is their true citizen scientist concept. If it works, you know, track record today and with me and, and the Vaquita, you know, getting stuff uploaded and processed is not doing it for me right great concept but i mean who's going to process all this information easily i know they're working with the university of arizona but really i want more information on how this is all going to run because we may be just giving lots of data to people without any use and reason number five vaquita is built for the ocean well blow me down with a feather um i thought any camera you take underwater would be built for the ocean but their argument is it's a rugged camera i'll give it that i dropped it on the boat last week and i just bent the end of it that's all and this makes it as tough 
as it gets to be resilient to all the dangers and underwater forces of nature throw at it. Wow. Well, I'll tell you what, it scratches like hell, you know, so, yeah. Um, oh, and it's um, torchlight shape means it's perfectly shaped for diving in water with less resistance against the current. Think aerodynamics. Wow. I'll tell you what, there's a lot of the other things I would work on first in my diving rig to get better, to get less resistance than a small action cam. That's it. That's their five. I mean, what? That's not really the five reasons. Now let's get into my five reasons to buy the Paralens Vaquita. So here we go. My top five reasons for buying the Paralens Vaquita. Reason number one, if you're a technical diver, the Vaquita is well engineered. It can go to 250 meters depth, which is well within the range of most technical diving. If you want to use a GoPro type camera, um, you can't use the standard underwater housing, which I believe is only rated to 40 or 45 meters. You've got to go and, and purchase one of the aluminium housings and they're not so cheap so it then starts to put you know the vaquita on a price level with a gopro in an aluminium house and remember you've got several advantages with the um, vaquita you can set it so it just switches on automatically when you reach your target depth and so you haven't got to worry about it um depending on types of technical diving you, you probably need video lights as well so that's a consideration how you're going to mount that in the frame but i think for technical divers they're really going to like this camera it will just suit them and technical diver will deal with all the glitches and stuff because they are techies right they are very equipment focused so updating firmware sorting out the o-rings and you know looking after them won't be an issue for them reason number two if you want a forget and go camera and what do i mean by that i mean you just mount it somewhere on you um, or use the third party viewer set it for auto on at a certain depth you go diving it takes all the footage and you don't have to worry about anything you know um, but your footage isn't going to be great then because you won't have fantastic composition but if you just want to mount it somewhere you know and say on your, your mask which I don't never like because it isn't light you know um, or if you use a scooter you mount it on there or whichever way you come up with and you just want to record the whole dive brilliant you are going to have a hell of a job editing it because you're going to have a big heavy file and you're going to have to go through it all me myself i like to take clips as i go along throughout the dive um, makes editing and putting videos together a lot easier so that was reason number two reason number three if you want good color correction so far i've been very happy with the um, dcc the dynamic color correction you know, I'm an amateur, you know, an amateur YouTuber. I don't want uh, myself or Rhea, who helps me with editing, spending lots of time post-production trying to manually color correct. So again, really good for that. So if you're, particularly if you're diving in clear water, shallow depths, you know, you are gonna get um, really good colors without any efforts of using filters uh, or doing post-production color correction. Reason number four. If you want to contribute to marine science, um, I'm impressed with what Paralens are trying to do. We, uh, we fitted the camera with extra sensors for marine data collection. This is for uh, conservation and restoration purposes. Uh, these sensors are con uh, conductivity, uh, it's temperature, it is depth and it's location. And with these sensors in the camera, it means that every time you go uh, for a dive with the Paralens Vaquita and you connect it to the Paralens app, you are contributing with marine data for ocean science and i hope it works you know and i think it will in the long run i, th I think it's a bit of, at the moment i think it's a bit of a marketing gimmick but if we can upload footage and the the, the information like salinity that sort of thing and, and the exact position if people are, if universities or research organizations are able to use that volume of data it's going to be absolutely brilliant so yes very good reason to buy the Fakita. And finally, I mean, a lot of divers like to have the latest stuff, right? So if you want the latest tech in a well-designed package, the Fakita's for you. I mean, I'm sure eventually the app is gonna be as good as the GoPro app, but if you want the latest, could be considered the best, Fakita's for you. Well, I hope you enjoyed those five reasons. They're much better, I think, than what Paralens are telling us. Um, tomorrow, you'll have my five reasons 
not to buy the power lens Vakuta and the day after tomorrow you'll have my five improvements I want power lens to make to the Vakuta to make it a truly exceptional um, piece of kit thanks for watching please hit the subscribe button give me a like if you think it was okay if not don't bother and we'll see you tomorrow